Hi! In version 5.0, Spartacus has been renamed to Composable Storefront. But that's not the only change. Technically, the biggest difference is the distribution channel. You won't find Spartacus libraries on NPM anymore. If you are a SAP Cloud customer, uh, you can access the libraries from uh, SAP's private NPM registry. However, if you don't have such an access, you can self-publish the libraries and install them on your own. And that's what I'll show you in this video. So let's get started. First, we need to install some tools. We'll need TS Node to run uh, some scripts. So let's install it globally. npm install minus g ts node. Besides a ts node, we'll also need a place where we want to publish our libraries. Uh, so potentially we could use npm uh, if we have uh, some uh, enterprise uh, account, uh, or we could also use GitHub, GitLab, or any other uh, service providing such capabilities. But for the sake of this video, uh, we will use some local NPM registry, which is called Verdaccio. Uh, this will be the easiest and because this requires zero configuration. So let's install uh, Verdaccio globally and version 4. Finally, that's all the tooling we need. Now we need Spartacus source code uh, to build the libraries from it. So uh, let's go to Spartacus GitHub and let's clone it. Get clone. Once the repository is cloned, we need to get into it. And check out a release branch. All the release branches start with release slash and version number. So I'm looking for release uh, branch 6.0.x. 6 6 And when I'm switched to this branch, I need to first install uh, Spartacus dependencies. So yarn install. When we have our dependencies installed, we can start building the libraries. We can do this by typing a command yarn build colon libs. Once the build is done, we can publish our libraries. Uh, we'll use a special script prepared by the Spartacus core team, which is uh, available in Spartacus source code. Uh, so we'll run it with TS node, schematics, uh, or tools. Yes, tools, schematics, testing. This script will start up a Verdaccio server to which we will publish our libraries. But before uh, choosing here publish, uh, we will add a user to Verdaccio server so that we don't have to uh, provide credentials on uh, for, for every library that we want to publish. So let me open a new terminal tab and enter a command npm add user dash dash registry and here we will provide the address of our of our local uh, Verdaccio server local host port 4873 and here we can provide whatever we want mm -hmm. Now we can select publish. We can see that our libraries are being published to localhost 4873. Now it's done and we can validate 
whether the libraries have been published correctly. Yes, here we can find, uh, we can open this uh, address in our browser and see all the libraries that have been published. Um, so that's all regarding creating, uh, regarding building the libraries and publishing them. Now uh, we'll try to install the newest version uh, of Spartax to validate whether our Verdacho is working correctly and whether our build has, uh, has been correct. Uh, so let's not close uh, this script because here, uh, if, we, if we close this, uh, we will close the Verdacho server. But before we start with installation, let's check our Angular version by using ng version. And let's make sure that we are using Angular 15 because Spartacus 6 works with Angular 15. This is correct. So we can create a new Angular ap application, ng new uh, my store. And I don't want to install the routing and I want to use SCSS for styling. Okay, the application was created. So let's get into that folder. And here we have a plain Angular application. Now we can install Spartacus to it. ng add at Spartacus slash schematics. And we can see that uh, it found Spartax schematics 6.0.0. This means that it found the version on our Verdaccio server. Yes, I want to install it and execute it. And here I can select the features uh, I want to install. Uh, I think I'll go with the default set. So I'll just press enter. And I get this error. And I've seen that this happens sometimes. So let's start the schematics once again. And now it worked. Packages are being installed. Okay, the packages have been installed successfully. So there's one more thing before starting this. I want to open the code with Visual Studio Code. And I want to edit uh, the Sport, I guess, configuration to set the base URL. So let's go to Sport, I guess, configuration module and here change the base URL from localhost uh, 9002 to the demo server. Let's save it. And in the terminal, we can run yarn start. Okay, the application has been uh, compiled successfully and the server is running. We can open it in our browser. And we have the newest version of Spartacus running. Thanks for watching.